Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Anna and I have moved my pink cottage over onto my desk. I cleaned her out at Lisa's front room and I've dusted her. Um, it's been a long time coming and now I'm going to, I just did this little window treatment right there, which is just that simple lace that I shared with you the other day. I'm going to do it to this window as well. Now this house was, I bought this about, I'm going to say about maybe 20 years ago. And I bought it from a young lady and there's something right here. Let me take this out. Okay. I bought it from a young lady that sold it on a penny saver. If you guys ever heard of the penny saver, that was a very long time ago. And people used to list stuff to sell all the time. So I think I bought this for like 30 or $40. It weighs about 40 pounds. It's very, very heavy. And from my understanding, it was made by a store or a company that was called um, The House of Jack Built, which is obviously no longer in business. And um, it's a beautiful home. I do have a whole bunch of stuff in it, as you can tell. Remember when I moved everything, I just shoved everything in there. And it's missing its little chimney piece that got lost during one of our moves in our storage units. Because um, we are renters, so that happens. And I just want to show you what I'm going to do with this room, okay? So I'm going to put y'all on pause and keep on working on her. Okay, now as you can tell, I just put up another little curtain. And what I used to hold it up, because I can't find my um, wax. I have a tacky wax that I normally use on my dollhouse miniatures. Um, but I had to improvise because I can't find it because it's such a small container. I had to use my double-sided dots that I used for my crafting. And you guys, it's working out great. So I put up that one and I put up that one. And this is the fabric and the material that I shared with you the other day that I'm using to make this curtain. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And it was by Ribbon Scents. And I cannot remember where I bought it from, but I had three yards of it and it's absolutely just beautiful. So let me continue to work on her. Hi friends, let's go ahead and take a tour in what I did to this particular room. Um, I did add a bright colorful rug, as you could tell right here on the bottom. It has these beautiful yellows and oranges and greens. And it has like this great leaf motif. And I wanted to, the room to be a little bit lighter. So I decided to go with a lighter rug. And it looks really pretty. Then um, I did a combination of an eclectic mix of furnishings, as you can tell have all kinds of furnishings in here. This is like atypical for my home and a lot of other homes. So right over here, I have the little sitting area and has these great little chairs, which I'm gonna share, share with you. Um, I picked these up from eBay a very long time ago and I fell in love with them because they had such a beautiful, beautiful woodwork with the round woodwork here all the beautiful detail here on the top in the center it has this great round arm and um then you bring it down you have this great velvet and um the little obviously the little turned legs up in the front but it's just an absolutely beautiful piece it would make any room and even a castle just look spectacular she does have a little wear and tear because i've had her forever but she is priceless to me and there's another one now this one has arms and that one over there doesn't so what i did over here was i added a little hat and i wish i could show you with a little bit more light okay i have a little bit more light now in here i have a little hat that someone made from a swap and then this is the little chest and i put two little presents that I had made during Christmas myself and this is what they look like little boxes and if you look on the table I made that little hummingbird out of findings from AC Moore then there's a little plate which has already come off a little bit that has a, a little log a little cake log then a little postcard and um, like a polymer clay type of a sunflower and then with the sunflower theme, um, you're going to see some sunflowers over there on the left in a second. Then we have um, 
this this household likes to make things as you can tell right here you have your yarns and your different holders then you have a little chair over here in the corner then this beautiful detailed chest um i got this chest from ebay and i fell in love with it just from all the little details on it then there's a bright little flower with sitting on a little footstool then as you can see i made those two little lamps and then there's the flower and I put it on top a little green velvet that I just had lying around. And I'm gonna pull back and then you'll see the little sofa and um, the little magazine holder there that has a little permanent magazines in there. Now one of the reasons why I really enjoy this house is you can see the detail in the wood. Look at that wood floor, it's beautiful. It has all the details of the crown molding going across the whole room. And it even has um, crown molding all the way on the top. Now little details like that make such a big difference in a house. Now my windows don't have plastic inserts or anything, so you can stick a finger right through it literally. Um, and I did just add those curtains that I just shared with you from that fabric, from that ribbon fabric. Now this is the outside. Let me move my bag of chocolates that my husband gave to me for Valentine's Day. Um, I did add there we go. I did add some wood logs there in this really nice house plant right here. So that is my one room that I decided to go ahead and straighten up while I was dusting and revamp. I'm sure I will change it again within a few weeks because that's what I do. And um, I have to redo the bedroom. I have things that I've kept up here on the top. And I cleared some of it out as you can tell. Then that is one of the bedrooms. And that's the bed that I actually created and I did a video on you guys that I used everything from here at home and just like cardboard and just, you know, boxes and material. Then this is the other room that I need to do. Now what had happened here, which I was a little upset about, um, you see that picture there on the wall? I would never ever glue anything on a wall, never. And what happened was I gave this house to my niece because um, she was into doll houses for a little while. Then she got tired of it. And I was like, is she done with this? She's like, yeah. I said, okay, she's coming back home. And they had glued that picture on that wall. Now, if I take this picture down, it's gonna rip off that wallpaper. And this wallpaper, I don't know where it came from or anything else. This is all original. So now I'm going to have to work around this picture that they glued on the wall. So never glue anything. Always use your wax so you can take it on and off without any problems. And I still have to clean up the floor and everything else over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little share of my room. I'm sorry that the light's coming through. Um... But I wanted to show you that I was working on my dollhouse and I did move her so I can finish creating and changing things up. And I still want to add some things for the walls. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, it's always about all the little details. And um, all the little details really make a difference. I wanted to put a dog or a cat in here, but I couldn't find one. I know I have several. It's just a matter of finding them. And um, I wanted to add a, uh, a quilt. And some other little things, maybe a pair of shoes lying around and what have you. So those are still things to come. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, quick look one more time. I love that dresser right there that I got from eBay. And those flowers I got from one of those apps. I don't know if it was Wish or not, but I got those from one of those apps. And, um, the lamps that I made from um, items from AC Moore. Thank you so much for visiting.